and welcome to another video. This one is a vlog. In my last vlog, I asked when you would like me to introduce myself and people said that they prefer it at the beginning. So my name is Kristen. I am an artist and illustrator and I live in Salt Lake City, Utah. I'm 29 years old, 5'6 on a good day. This is about a month in my life. Enjoy the video. I'll see you in a little bit. In these clips, I am opening up a order that I placed from Cat Print. I usually use a website called G Clay Today for my art prints, but I wanted to find a cheaper option, something that I could make small prints easily and justify like a lower price for a four by six print like these. And I'm really happy with how they turned out. I think I did a good job editing the scans of my sketchbook. So yeah, cat print, I would recommend, I think. Taylor and I went skiing. It was the first time skiing in like a month since I had been sick most of March. And yeah, it was really fun. This winter has felt so long, so, so long. Hey, get down from there, you rascal. Hi, today I'm gonna f paint these fish. I should say hi. Hello. It's really nice out. I'm about to go speed walk through my neighborhood while listening to music. Sorry, Nora, I wish you could come with. Rainbow trout. How cute. He's a magnet. I'm gonna glaze them when I get home. Sorry, my hands are shaky. I had Turkish coffee this morning. I think this one's my favorite. The weather is finally nice enough to ride bikes outside, so I did a lot of that in April. From Ogden to Brigham and Sioux City, I think it's like 15 to 17. I've been trying to take some more time to sketch and paint in my sketchbook without feeling like it needs to be posted anywhere or turned into a print or has a purpose at all. And since it's spring and all the flowers and stuff are popping up, that's really been inspiring me. So I've been taking a lot of pictures on my walks throughout my neighborhood. And I painted these tulips the other day. I had a lot of fun doing this. I feel like it's always a goal of mine to use my sketchbook more because when I do use it regularly, I just feel so good and work that I make outside of my sketchbook flows so much easier when I'm in that regular practice. I'm part of an artist working group. We're putting together a gallery show that'll be up in October both group pieces and individual pieces. We meet a few times a month at this cute little space to talk about our project, which focuses on capitalism and disability. It's like 10 a.m. on Monday morning, April 24th. I am about to watch my friend's thesis defense. They're in a master's program for environmental humanities. Last year, I was part of this working group where we did a project about the intersection of the environment and disability. Part of my friend Natalie's master's thesis is that they are digitizing all of the content that we created in the working group. So. I think it'll be really interesting to watch. I slept on the couch last night because I have this persistent cough and it gets so much worse when I lay down and Taylor had to work 
early this morning so I didn't want to affect his sleep but yeah that's what's up with me I am gonna probably finish glazing these trout today it's supposed to rain but I think there will be enough UV light before the thunderstorm happens but yeah I don't feel that great <laughs> it shows historic and present water levels of the Great Salt Lake this is my favorite breakfast right now. I've been putting these salted pepitas in my oatmeal. Adding salt to the brown sugary oatmeal is so good and enhances the flavor so much. Eating like a straight up bowl of oatmeal is kind of gross sometimes. So adding all these nuts makes it feel like a little granola snack. I feel like I haven't talked about these clay things at all, but they are magnets. I got this trout cutter and wanted to make some trout magnets. If you have seen my work before, you know that I love trout. Working with resin used to really intimidate me, but I'm glad that I got over that fear and figured out how to work with it. You just have to make sure that you're wearing a proper ventilator mask and I'm wearing rubber gloves and all the windows are open. I'm being really careful not to get it on my skin. And now that it's fully sunny, the pieces cure really fast when I set them outside, which is really nice. It dries really hard, almost like a glass finish, and I can't think of any other way to epoxy these. If you have any like sealing tactics, let me know, but yeah, just UV resin for now. Why is everybody on the internet so mean? <laughs> what? <laughs> I feel like I haven't talked to camera in a while, so I wanted to check in. I am about to finish glazing the rest of these trout. I only did a couple of them that first day because I wasn't feeling that good. I got a chest x-ray yesterday and I have pneumonia, so yay. I'm gonna try to do this fast and then I think I'm gonna go meet up with a friend and we are gonna dye some tote bags and stuff with indigo, maybe? Yeah, that's what's up with me. Hi, Anna. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> yeah, no problem. I am like in the middle of glazing these polymer clay things. So yeah, tomorrow works perfectly. That sounds good. Um, it's an experiment anyway. So cool. Yeah, no worries. That sounds good. Do you want to be in the video? Sure. <laughs> so first you have to put it in water and basically the main thing with indigo is that you don't want to introduce too much oxygen into the vat. And this is, the totes are like not the best. It's kind of hard to do it because it's like such thick fabric, but normally if I had like a bandana or something, I would scrunch it up and hold it under here and like squeeze it to get all of the air bubbles out and that's the water helps with that too and you can like... cool it's so green mm, yeah so that's a good yeah okay cool this yellow color is a good sign okay because if you put it in and it's just like grayish blue then it won't stick okay um i've had vats that are like a week old or something and I thought maybe they would still work and then um it didn't stick. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Cool. Like it won't come out yeah. after. <laughs> Be in your next studio vlog. Big reveal. <laughs> oh, I like how the sleeves are darker. Yeah. Ooh, cool. cool. Nice. This is like my summer sun shirt. Yeah. Think, so. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
G'day, little babies. <laughs> G'day, little babies. <laughs> This last weekend, I went bike camping on Antelope Island with a really fun group of people. It was put together by this group called Radical Adventure Riders, which is how I have made most of my friends uh, since moving to Salt Lake City. They're a nationwide thing, so you should check it out if you live in like a major city in the US. But it's basically a gender and racial equity group trying to make cycling more inclusive. So yeah, we just rode our bikes to Antelope Island. It was about 47 miles each way, and we took all of our tents and everything, all of our food on our bikes. And it was really nice to hang out in nature with a bunch of really cool people. I knew if I could do it. Hi, me again at the end of the video. I recently hit 3,000 subscribers on YouTube, which is really cool, so thank you for that. If you're new, you might wanna subscribe or leave a comment or just say hi. It's currently May 1st, and I have a bunch of fun stuff happening this month. I am gonna be an apprentice for a mural fest, so I'm gonna get to help an established mural artist apply their murals, so hopefully I will be vlogging some of that experience. I have an art market on the 10th, and then at the beginning of June, I have another art market, a trip to Alaska, and then my first artist residency. So I'm leading up to all that stuff. I feel alive again now that the sun is out. It's like 85 degrees and I feel good. So I hope that you're doing well. Yeah, just thank you for being here. I hope you're having a really great day and I'll see you next time. Okay, bye. Damn, that's beautiful. I love when people say that about views. Damn, that's beautiful. <laughs>